over the last few weeks, honestly, uh, the Lord has just been doing a tremendous work in my heart, in in my quiet personal space where I, you know, I tend to worry. I tend to get a little anxious. Um, I'm like, I'm a paradox man because I can be so far one side and so far the other. And I feel like I can either operate in a lot of fear or I can operate in a lot of just bold, brazen fearlessness. And the last, I don't know, this last season has really aligned me and aligned my heart in a way that I can't necessarily explain other than I know that I know that God is truly in our midst and is steering this ship. Mm. And this, this grace has just come upon me, um, and into my home and in my family where I, we are just trusting, um, that God is, I mean, he is who he says he is. And, and, you know, the greatest commandment in the Bible mentioned more times than any thing in the word of God is do not fear, mm. do not be afraid. And I fail to recognize that many times. And over the last three weeks, the more that I dig into the scriptures and, and just press into that secret place with Holy Spirit, I just keep hearing that over and over again. Don't be afraid. Mm. Stop fearing. Like I've, I've got this and I've got you and I've got the world. I'm not up in heaven panicking right now because I think that there, we're not going to get this figured out. But I feel like if I could bring all that in to a nutshell, there are people are waking up. People are waking up right now. Christians, brothers and sisters, people who are coming into an agreement uh, with who they are in Christ and they're waking up and, and fear is beginning to just fall off people, even though we're fed fear every day, all day long. If you turn on the TV, you're going to get fear. But if you get actually out with people, I just got home from being on the road for three weeks. Mm. I went out and did a, what's called the backyard summer concert series. Yeah, nice. And I went and played at people's homes for 50 to 75 people <laughs> and state regulated, of course, guidelines, you know, we followed all the rules. Exactly where you thought yeah, your career was going. Exactly. Right? I mean, you know, it. <laughs> off the tour bus, out of the arena, into a minivan and on a, <laughs> and on a back porch. But it's, it was probably one of the most beautiful times that I've had, one of the most healthy times that I've had. And I've seen very quickly that we are all just people mm. and people are starving like that's the most feedback that we've gotten was like, thank you for coming out. Thank you for bringing hope. Thank you for bringing light and truth and encouragement. Because if we are left to just looking at the TV all day, we're going to be bombarded with fear. And there's yeah. so much good. There's so much good right now. I, I want to just tell people that, uh, you know, just briefly, we can fall into the trap that, our world's in trouble, mm. but I feel like we need to fall into an alignment with our world is being revived. Mm. There's revival happening, you know, in the Middle East right now. I just heard this statistic the other day that half a million people are coming to Christ every month in the Middle East. Wow. That's not something that we're hearing about, but that's, that's the truth. And I, the Lord is, is calling his people to him in a way that our generation probably hasn't seen in a long time. And I'm wow. honestly, you asked me <laughs> how we're doing and I'm, I'm, I'm great. We're doing good. Uh, we're healthy. We're digging into the word of God. We're, we're just getting close as a family and my community, like, you know, everybody's going through it, but, um, I'm just, I'm sensing the Lord in a way that I never have. 